Hello everyone, I'm Archangel and today I'm going to talk about two webtoons. Yes, we're going to talk about webtoons. I have a long time without talking about them. So we're going to talk about Dawn of the Blossoming Blade and also about Sub-Zero. Yes, I read Sub-Zero. <laughs> if you want to watch just a part for Sub-Zero, just check the timestamps. Okay, so first of all, I wanted to make an update about Return to the Blossoming Blade. <sighs> Return of the Blossoming Blade. Because there was this thing, you know, in, in the webtoon, like in the comments. I like to read them, of course, and I want to comment there. And usually people will say, I mean, I was also thinking about it, like, oh, there are no girls. There are no girls. And, you know, for me, it's nothing bad, you know. I can, you know, I like fighting stuff, so I really don't have any problem with that. But it was a, bit, a little bit weird. Also, other people was pointing out the same, you know, like, oh, there are no girls here. Where are we going to have a girl, you know? <laughs> and I was on Instagram, you know, wasting my time, basically. I clicked in some memes that were in Spanish. I don't know. They were just, like, random memes. But at the end of the memes, there was an image. And the image was in the style of the Return of the Blossoming Blade. And I was like, this is a girl. And this is Return of the Blossoming Blade. There wasn't like any text, you know, it was a random post. I was like, oh my God, we're going to have a girl. And oh my God, she looks badass. <laughs> so for the people that maybe don't know about what this webtoon is about, it's basically about Xiao Myung. Xiao Myung is the master of the Blossoming Blade and he died in a battle like a hundred years ago maybe he reincarnated in a young boy so he has the mentality and he knows he reincarnated so the thing is that when this girl appeared because yes some weeks after found out you know through the post finally we can see the girl in the chapter and i was like oh my god what well, what is happening here because she looks cute he himself said that she's cute so i don't know I mean, he didn't say it, thankfully, in an awkward, I don't know, kind of like, oh, I want her or something like that. I don't know. I have I have to say, you know, that he, even though he's a bastard, yes, personally, I think he's a bastard, <laughs> but I actually like his attitude. He's actually, you know, he's very centered and I like that. Uh, he has, you know, one thing in mind and I think he, I don't think anything is going to happen. Hopefully, I think. He's a kid, you know, even though he has the mind, whatever, you know, he's a kid. <laughs> but in any case, I don't know. This is getting really, really interesting. And there's like a competition and oh my God, this is very exciting. I forgot to say her name. Her name is Isel Yu. She's a second grader. So she's supposed to be superior, you know, to Cheong Myung. But, you know, let's see, because Cheong Myung, we know he's like the big deal. So this is kind of crazy right now, but it's actually pretty exciting. If you're not reading this, I really, really recommend it because it's great. So as I said at the beginning, I'm also going to talk about Sub-Zero and how can I say this? So I've been reading Sub-Zero since it first began as an original. And I have to say that, I don't know, there have been, in my opinion, like a shift from the start until this point. And it's that it feels like love is never going to shift. And you start thinking, at least in my case, you know, I'm, I'm starting to think it's the fact that she ever transformed into a dragon actually significant to the story because let's analyze this yes this is not going to be an update okay i'm just analyzing some things here as i watch the series how it's developing and i really want her to finally shift but it seems like it's going to be supposedly a big thing you know that is going to happen but in at the end of the first season, it was hinted that she was going to shift. You know, people were talking like, uh, oh, what happened? What actually happened? But he, at the end, uh, happened that she didn't shift. Later, there were other signs that she maybe will, like she was going to shift. At least that was the perception. And even people were in the comments like, oh my God, please let her shift. Now I'm just thinking, is this like, is is it really important that she finally shifts? Because let's let's analyze this, what is happening in the series. We have the queen. We know she can shift, or at least she could in the past. I really don't remember too much. But we have the sister, Kairis, and she can shift. We also have Cairo, then obviously he can shift. So if they by themselves 
they shift, but they actually don't change anything in the world, okay? The fact that she shifts um, clove, it actually is not going to change that much, at least not right now. You know, they are at the point that they are going to the ruins and things like that, you know. So the big deal is going to be that she is going to shift because the fact that she can shift is not going to change anything. It's just that... You know, she's a dragon and they want, you know, baby dragons, you know, purple dragons. <laughs> I say this because I feel like they're trying to postpone the fact that she's going to shift to make it like a big point in the story. But what I feel is like they're trying to postpone a lot of things. Like why the court doesn't ask Clove to shift? Because let's be honest, at this point, nobody has seen Clove shifting. So I don't know. Is people like in the air, like, oh, whatever, maybe, you know, there <laughs> could be. But I think like at this point, if we, the readers, are thinking about that, you know, maybe, maybe, just me thinking, maybe people already should be like hinting to that. Like, um, like we have never seen her. Yes, I know she did the trick, you know, the eye streak and those things, you know, but I don't think that's, that's enough to prove anything. <laughs> I think that's okay. Um, for now, at least. I'm going to continue, you know, reading. Yes, because I, I overanalyze things, I think. But, you know, I'm going to continue. Wa uh, I mean, I'm saying watching, but it's actually reading. You know, whatever. I just say this because I just feel like they're trying to postpone, like, many things. But in any case, guys, we're going to see what happens in the future. And this episode... Uh, this episode... <laughs> this video... Uh, I'm going to do this about Webtoons because... I really haven't picked up anything new. I'm just reading like five web comics, so yes, and Sub Zero is one of them. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I'm just reading because I want to know is she ever going to shift? So guys, I don't want to take much more of your time. So thank you for watching and guys see you in another video. Bye and have fun. <laughs>